Well, every day I wake up and I'm grateful. When you have a near-death experience and you have the second chance at life and when you go from, you know, despair to hope, I believe you, it's almost like a gift. I was diagnosed HIV positive um, in my late 20s and very quickly succumbed to AIDS and was on life support, was given a couple days to live. I was very lucky at that time that the CDC had invented a cocktail that would now ensure that every person with HIV could live their life expectancy. I remember being really sick and thinking I was going to die and watching my friends march down Davie Street in Vancouver with these signs that said, act up now. And they were demanding that there was resources, there was demanding education and, and social justice. And it was the smaller organizations and the niche sort of groups that were trying to band together to get these medications and to get the governments to start realizing that something needed to be done. And I saw the power in it, and I saw the power in community, and I thought, this is amazing, and I think we should create an event to thank the very hospital and to thank all those people. You know, we lost hundreds of thousands of gay men. Um, they were our friends, they were our fathers, our brothers, our neighbors. And it was important to recognize that, and it was important to recognize the people that stood up and, and got us to where we are today. So I started this project called SHINE. Shine is a fundraiser for mental health and we reach out to primarily the artistic community and the LGBTQ community. A lot of people that are in those communities have had a difficult journey to be able to be their authentic selves. And it is an easy ask to ask a creative person or an artistic person to give back on their own terms. It's been so heartwarming to see the hundreds of thousands of people both on stage, behind stage, the volunteers and the community that comes to Unite to make a heartfelt difference. Most of the people that are on the SHINE team come from lived experience, so they're already sensitive or compassionate to this cause. I'm really emotional actually, and I'm emotional because I, I'm in awe of the tremendous amount of community members that have come out to support our local charities. Every cent that we make in that production, we give all back to community. And we've been able to help these individual programs or these societies or organizations grow and be able to feel more financially secure. Sometimes I look back and I look at the person that I was before I got sick and the person that I am now, and I'm not so sure I'm fond of the person that I was before, but I really like who I am now. And it taught me to move away from myself and to see greater and to see the connectivity of community. I'm really grateful to have this compassionate, loving husband, David Veljasic. Um, I'm very happy with the life that we have. Um, and I'm really, really um, excited to see what the future holds for Shine. And I'm really grateful that the community members continue to unite and in the spirit of giving back. Come on. Shine on